Welcome back to Pet Pals. Now we're going to take a look at five more animals that are looking for homes through Frederick County Division of Animal Control. And this segment's going to show off our open admission status. We're going to start off with our little bunny friend here. Uh, this is Bandit. She's about nine months old now. She's a lion head mix. And it's sort of hard to tell because of all of her white blending, but she does have some longer fur around her face, around the top of her head, which categorizes her as, as a lion head. But then she's She's got other things in there as well, so we've got her down as a mix. Um, she's about eight months old. She was uh, purchased from, or gotten as a gift when she was about four months old. And after having her for four months in the family, she wasn't getting along with the family cats. And you have to remember that bunnies are prey animals, so I can sort of see why there was a, a discrepancy there. And, and, um, and I'm not sure what her housing was like, but you can't really put a prey animal in, in the middle of predators and expect them to get along. Bunnies need to be protected. Um, they're very gentle. They're easy to scare. Um, you can do you know, significant damage if you don't hold them properly. You should never scruff a bunny. Please don't carry it by its ears. You need to support its back end. Its back legs are very, very strong so they can push off and actually injure themselves if they're not handled properly. Um, so we have several bunny experts in our pool of volunteers here at the shelter, so if you have questions, um, we can you know, give you their information or collect your information if you ever have questions. We're more than happy to, to educate folks on, on getting a bunny. Bunnies are just as much work as dogs and cats as far as being a pet. Uh, maybe a little bit more work. They need a special diet. They need greens in their diet. They can have you know, one small carrot, tiny baby carrot a day. If you give them too many carrots, that can be too much sugar, too many calories for their system. And, and of course, as with any animal, any being, if, um, if they become overweight, that can cause problems for their joints, for their back, and it's just not a good thing. Bunnies need a variety in diet, in, including pellets that have nutritional value, as well as the vegetables that come from the store. And uh, Little Bandit here had been a bite case earlier in her stay. She came in early December, so she's been with us for a couple of months. Um, and bunnies do bite. Again, they're prey animals. Their vision may not be that great. So if you stick your finger in their cage, which we highly discourage here at the shelter, if you put your face up to the cage, um, you are a prime target for them to take a little nibble because if they can't see what they're, what they're looking at, or if you've just, and we've seen this historically in the past, if you've just had lunch or um, have Cheetos and you haven't washed your hands and you go to pet the bunny, yeah, they might just be likely to nibble on you. So you want to be careful of all of those things with any animal. Rabbit adoptions here include spaying and neutering. The adoption fee for bunnies is $50 and includes that. Um, so again, if you're interested in adopting a bunny, there's more to it than just getting them and getting a cage. You need to make sure that they have some exercise time outside of a cage on a regular basis. Uh, you want to make sure that you have you know, a vet in line in case something happens. And you need to be very observant. Bunnies can sometimes eat, they can develop hairballs, they can have some medical conditions that occur. So you need to be observant about their behavior. But this is Bandit. She is very friendly. She's about only eight months old, nine months old, and she is looking for a forever home.